What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing alright. Usually I review anime on this channel, but today I got something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing a TV show called Black Sails. If you're a little bit pressed for time, or if you have the attention span of a five-year-old, I'll give you the too long, didn't listen version of this review. Basically, if you like pirates, violence, explosions, naked people, watch Black Sails. It's basically Game of Thrones with pirates. And that's it. You can just give me a like, subscribe, and carry on with your day. That's all you need to know. Uh, for the rest of you guys, before I get into the review, uh, let me talk about the gameplay that's on the screen right now. This is just uh, some footage of my Poison Blade Vortex Trickster in the new uh, Path of Exile Breach League. Uh, if you don't find that interesting, you can just click away and listen to the review. So Black Sails. In a nutshell, this is what happened. A friend of mine texted me one day and said, hey, someone told me to check out this uh, TV show named Black Sails. Uh, it's about pirates, and I don't really have time to, to watch it. So can you check it out and let me know if it's any good? And I was like, dude, pirates, you got me. You had me at pirates. Like, I'll watch it, I'll let you know. Basically, Black Sails is about Pirates trying to make Bahamas, or more specifically, Nassau, their home. They want to seek refuge from the corrupt aristocracy of Europe, especially uh, England. Mo most of them are from England. And it revolves around the idea of the pirates sort of taking over uh, ships that are crossing the Atlantic, taking their goods, trying to recirculate those goods into legitimate trade routes so that they can get what they need to sustain themselves in NASA. First, let's talk about what I like about this TV show. So, I love how they portray the pirates in this TV show. And I want to put them in three different categories. First, you have, like, the good pirates. I, I, I call them good even though they do bad things, right? Like, they, they do, like, plunder ships and things like that. Uh, but... I wouldn't necessarily call them bad, like, at the end of the day, these type of pirates in the show, they really just want to work and live an honest life and kind of not really be bothered with the whole ordeal of being a pirate and sailing in the ocean and and ha having their, their lives be at risk every single day. And I would say that's that makes up like a good majority of the pirates in the show. Then you have... What I would consider the bad pirates. These are basically your stereotypical pirates, like the ones that are just looting and killing just because they find it to be fun. Not necessarily because they're concerned with the bigger picture of having Nassau to themselves, but just because, you know, they're just violent, uh, ignorant people. And the last category of pirates that I find particularly interesting from this show is what I would call the functional lunatics. So they're sort of the bridge between the good and the bad pirates. Essentially, they they want the things that the good pirates want. Like they, they want to have Nassau to themselves. They kind of want it to be their, their sanctuary and they want to just live happily ever after, sort of. But they're a lot like the bad pirates in that they are willing to do anything to get that, to get that final result. So uh, I like the variety in the types of pirates in the in this TV show. I, I was expecting sort of like just the they're all just like crazy uh, murderers, rapists, that type of thing, but they're not. A lot of them are good. A lot, some of them are bad. Some of them are somewhere in between. And I like that variety. Individually, Captain Flint and Charles Fane in particular, those are the two that I, I would say are my favorite like functional crazy pirates i won't spoil anything about them in terms of what happens in the plot but it, they they are definitely on that edge where they're willing to do things that are pretty bad they're pretty bad they they go to some some pretty great lengths to get what they want but it's all in the name of nassau and 
and keeping Nassau for themselves. And then you also have like uh, the pirates like uh, Silver and Jack Rackham. That they're they're not especially like badass or anything. Like they're not, you know, good at commanding other uh, pirates in terms of like telling them what to do while they're in battle, or they're not like insane strategists when it comes to war or anything like that. They're not like physically you know, like, super physically fit, like, the sort of pirate that, you know, can just go on a ship and just kill, like, 10, 20 guys by himself. Silver and Jack Rackham are not that type of pirate. They're more of, like, the intellectual type, which is sort of a contradiction if you, you were to, to think of pirates in a stereotypical way, because the way that pirates are portrayed typically is that they're just kind of ignorant, violent people. So I like uh, Silver and Jack Rackham's character in this show. I also just love the the pirate ships in this show. Like I I don't know if any of you have ever played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I thought that the game was okay. Like the, the story of the game was okay, but in terms of like pirate battleship simulator, it was amazing. I found that the game captured that very well, and I like that a lot. So if you like scenes of like pirate ships kind of blowing each other up and people jumping onto the other ship and they're fighting and stuff you're gonna love that that's this tv show does that really well the action sequences are pretty good don't quote me on this i could have sworn that i saw that michael bay was some sort of producer on this tv show so if that was the case that explains a lot because stuff blows up and this is going to be sacrilege for some people but i want to say that it's really similar to game of thrones in the way that the story revolves around many people like there's not one individual main character It's kind of about how all of these really important people in Nassau kind of interact with each other the sort of politics that goes on between them and it's great because it doesn't have like that Game of Thrones backstory like where you have to kind of keep track of, oh, this guy is, belongs to this faction and he's from this place, and, oh, if you read the book, you knew that this guy's coming and whatever. Like, there's none of that. It's structured sort of like Game of Thrones in the way that everybody interacts with each other, but it's much simpler, and I love that. And I know people are going to be like, oh, I can't believe you just compared this show to Game of Thrones, but, dude, I just did it. That just happened. Deal with it. There's not much that I don't like about the show, I will say that the first few episodes, it just seemed like something was off. I don't know if it was like the on-screen chemistry with some of the actors, or maybe the way that the film was edited, but it just seemed like a little bit off, but it didn't really deter me from watching it, and it did get sorted out. Like, as time went on and more episodes of the show came out, it did become a lot more polished, so that's not that's like a very minor thing. I do feel that some of the female characters are just really obnoxious. Like, they do dumb things. And I realized that it wouldn't be much of a show without them. If they weren't there and everything went sm very smoothly, like, there wouldn't be much of a story to tell, right? There wouldn't be any conflict or anything. But I mention it a lot, even about anime and stuff, like, where some of the female characters, they're just... They, it's like they have no common sense, but... You know, it's part of the show, I'll deal with it. But there have definitely been times where I was watching and I was like, can somebody just kill this bitch already? Like, just get her out of the show. I don't want to see her anymore. But, like I said, it, it's part of the show, you gotta deal with it. A minor downside to the show, and th this is really just me nitpicking. Like, to some people, this might actually be a good thing. In the first portion of the show... I felt like there was too much nudity. Like I, th I felt like there was just naked people there for no reason. And some of the scenes were not really called for. And it's not really a problem with black sails, per se. It's like, there's a lot of TV shows nowadays where like the first couple episodes have a gratuitous amount of nudity in it. And it, I, I guess they figure that it's going to get people to watch it. And it does work, right? It does hold your attention and get you to keep watching it, you know, because there are some people that are just into that. And as time goes on, it sort of they sort of minimize the amount of nudity in the show and actually get to the story. That's a very minor thing. I mean, I only mention it because some people might be offended by it. I guess I don't know. Like it's not it's not really a big deal. 
but yeah, that's it. I mean, there's not really much to say about this TV show. It's just it's very entertaining. It's really entertaining if you like the concept of pirates and pirate ships in the Caribbean and a living on the edge type of thing. You'll you will probably really love this show. Um, as of this recording, there are three seasons out and. I have seen all three seasons, that's actually what has taken me so long to make this video is because I was watching all three seasons and it takes, anybody that knows me knows that it takes me forever to watch anything that's more than like 10 episodes. There is three seasons, there is another uh, season coming out soon and I, I do believe that they said that it's going to be the final season so it's not even going to be like a TV show that's really drawn out and they've beaten it and beaten it to death and milked it for what it's worth it is going to come to a pretty a pretty definite conclusion if you're interested it comes on stars so you know if you have stars you can check it out if not buy the blu-ray or something i really enjoyed it i highly recommend i can't say that i have any other tv shows in the pipelines i definitely have a lot of anime so um, if you're looking forward to more TV show review stuff, that's probably not going to happen. But there will, as always, be more anime reviews coming. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, review. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, want to see more videos like this. And I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Take it easy.